I may have goofed already but just by launching it wrong. Give me a sec. There we go, video options. Yeah, we're 1920 by 1080 at least. Tis. And then, what it is? Nine viewers, nine subs, nine hours. Can you beat this game in nine hours? I'm just curious. Like, is that actually a thing you can do? Pretty sure it doesn't take up this full space, but we'll find out. Yeah, that's what I thought. Define beat. I mean... Is it... I don't know. Two modes of play, novel and adventure. What does that mean? What? <laughs> yes, I get 30 saves, apparently. I guess I need all 30. You only got one? Sucks to suck. What is going on? I can count the pixels. What was that? Okay, that's a ship. Are we on a ship? This game was on DS. That's why it looks so potato. Got it. A loud noise started Junpei awake, and his eyes opened. Snapped open. What? What the? As they adjusted to the light, he realized that he didn't recognize the surrounding. With a crack, Junpei's head collided with something metal. He rolled over and threw his hands to steady himself, but he found himself groping at, a at empty air. What? Whoa! His balance lost, and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Junpei tumbled down the cold, gray floor. Ouch! God damn it! Ah, what the hell? Yeah, I'm noticing this is not the best looking anything at all. Also, it is 100% voiced, so I'm going to be, I guess, that seems so pointless. That's why you swap between the screens. Okay. That felt pretty far. That really hurt. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. An earthquake. But it, it's shaking too fast for that. Are we in a bit in a ship on the ocean? Uh, anyway. Which wouldn't shake like this? Ocean movement's pretty smooth, Where isn't it? Am I? Wait, it it stopped? That does not sound like a good sound. What's that sound? Nothing good. Uh, why is there What's a five on my door? Five? What's this five mean? Day five. Ah, it won't open. Not to be confused with day nine. What's this? Uh, is this keeping the door shut? Dude, this voice acting is not that great. Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! What the hell is this? A watch? It doesn't look like one. <laughs> so Why? I'm labeled. That's that's the same as the door. What? How do I take this off? Maybe pushing something on this will work? Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. No good. 
This stupid thing won't come off. What the hell is the deal with this thing? <laughs> this guy is so bad. Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? Ah, ah, my head. So I saw a smoke canister and a dude with a gas mask, so probably something that good. Voice acting is hard when you're the only character, man. You're not wrong. Huh. This is... Hold on. Uh, am I on a ship? Uh, I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? What the... Uh, oh, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. What the... What the hell is going on here? I, I agree. What is going on here? Are you for real right now? What the hell? God damn it! Hey! Anyone! Is anyone there? Come on! If you're there, say something! There was no reply. As Junpei screamed and pounded on the door, the water began to rise. He was, it was now ankle deep on the floor and rising quickly towards his knees. It's, it's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. I need to find a way out, and fast. Junpei ran a hand across his forehead, brushing the sweat out of his eyes, and looked around the room. Can I actually die here? OBJECTION! Seek a way out! Exclamation point. Okay. What? What is this? Operations during an escape. During an escape, you're restricted to an area. Your goal, search around to uncover how to unlock the door. There are items and hints in a room that tell you how to escape. Click on a location you find suspicious to search the room. Use Q or E to move around the room. Guess that's a lever, huh? Maybe if I pull it? Well, looks like it just makes a weird noise. Great. I still read the display hasn't changed. Damn it! Why the hell isn't this opening? No dice, it's locked tight. Let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. 0101, zero, one. let's try 555. Five, five. Okay, I guess not. Small keyhole, if I want to open the briefcase, I'll need to fill it up with a key. Water just keeps pouring through the window. It's like a waterfall. I don't think shoving something in the window is going to stop the water. In other words, if I don't want to die, I need to find a way out of this room. I have to figure this out. Once you've obtained an item, you'll be able to get the items. Go, go to the item screen. Clicking item in the top left will take you to the item screen. Got it. Ooh. Investigate an item. The item visible unless the lurk is currently in hand. When you close the item screen, the last selected item will be in hand. If you hold an item while investigating the room, you may trigger a reaction. Try switching out items in hand to different places. Click the item or press the V to switch between items. Bulletin board. Looks like somebody put a note on it. Wait, what? Why would I want that instead of a mouse? I didn't even try to click the sink. The door to the stove. Sure, well, it opens easy enough. Sure wish I could. The door to this was like, easy to open. Hey, a screwdriver. I'm not a huge fan of these. Use this combine. Oh boy. These controls are kind of abysmal. Screwdriver, huh? Wonder why that's here. I don't know. Maybe you should stop reading to yourself and actually do work. How do I. Hey, so totally told me how to combine things, but I apparently wasn't paying enough attention. Ah, oh, there it is. Oops, no. Not that. Not that. That's not gonna work. Well, the screwdriver got those screws off easy enough, and here's the picture. Picture of an old cruise liner. Hey, what up? Okay. So it's... Seven... Four... Six, three, seven, four, six, three. 
Are you serious right now? Are you... Hello? Are you dumb? 7463. I can't type it. Okay. Keep looking for the cow so long. I'm gonna find some pillar. Damn, isn't there anything I can use? Oh. Well, that's convenient. Get power. Should probably hold on to this key. Why are you now voice acting? Huh. What's up with my face? I look like a zombie. Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and... and... Am I on the right screen? I'm back. Not like anyone will respond. What? Oh, man, work was rough today. Is that a real picture in the background and through the window? Like what? I don't even. Huh? A breeze. Huh, that, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Hmm, everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. That looks bad. What? Who are... I... I can't... That seems like the least effective way to not see us. A privilege. You have been chosen. Really? That's the voice they picked for him? You are going to participate in the game. Thanks. The memory game. Thanks, Saw. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That's right. That guy with the gas mask. Okay, better question. Why would you gas an entire apartment to knock one person out and not just use like I don't know a cloth with something on it to knock somebody out that seems a lot easier that son of a bitch must have taken me here when I get my hands on him well I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not just who was that they said you have been chosen what the hell is going on why me why did you add Echo now? What? Does this game get, like, less cheesy? Because part of me is like, this seems... This game seems kind of cheesy to me. The Nonary game. Huh. Reverb for flashbacks. That might actually be it. What the hell is a Nonary game? God damn it! Also, why would you pronounce it nonary and not nonary? Did there's nothing left? To... Oh, that's a mirror. I didn't know that was a mirror. I need to find a different key about that size. Well, what else can I open? Well, there's the blue key. Alright, let's see what happens if I put the blue key and nothing. Guess I'm gonna need some sort of code for the dial. Maybe the ones that I have? During an escape, your investigation may trigger one of several mini games. Nonary game. Why? Why wouldn't it be non non nonary? Nanary. Why would it be nanary? Bananary? At least the protagonist isn't in high school. You have a point there. It gets good, I promise. Okay. All operations for the minigame are done by clicking the screen. Some minigames will require you to manipulate something, while others will only require you to apply the right object or click the right thing. Operation instructions. Clicking the dial will cause it to turn. Enter four numbers this way. If the numbers are correct, it will unlock 7463. Um, can I look at my items then? 
can, can I look at my items again, please? Seven, four, six. Am I wrong? Nani? Oh, I still know Nani, trust me. We'll turn him into one yet. Am I dumb? Am I reading it backwards? Should it be six three or sorry, not seven four six three, but should it be this way? Should that side be up? So it's that, that. Let's try that. So it'll be three. If it was like that, it would be there. So it'd actually be two, nine, three, Six two nine three six. Well, it's definitely not that. Two nine three six doesn't work, though. Do I need to look in the mirror or something? Like, I'm confused. What? Is that two for the red, two for the blue, and I need to figure out some other way of doing this? Keep posting sequences and never you say for reference. Okay, I appreciate it. Because I definitely would have forgot the last one had you not posted it. So you fold it in half. And the red one becomes the blue one. So maybe I need to... Dude, I got nothing. <laughs> like, do I need to mirror this one? Ignore that? Like, what is... Also, this rotation is awful. I'm trying to actually... Bulletin board, nothing on it. So I have the answer, I just need to... Let's unscrew those with the screwdriver I have, Kappa. Oh, hey, what up? Just a blue briefcase, like a lock. Okay, so. All right, stick the red key, it's not opening. In fact, it's not doing anything at all. Well, I'll take that back, I guess I can move the dial now. So I have two numbers. I don't think this is gonna work either, but we're gonna try it again. Seven, four, six, three. That's what I thought. Should it be 7676? So if I look at this, these are red. 76 is red and 43 is blue. Should I just do 7 or sorry, 74? Should I just do 7474? Nope. Um If you fold it in half, so would it be mirrored? So it would flip the other way? Nine. So it'll be nine and then two nine uh six two nine six three and then the red one would be Seven, four. 
Oh wait, two nine six three won't work. Dude, what? Do you know the answer to this? Like, am I am I just really missing something obvious, or is it something really stupid? Can I use the note with this mirror just in case it helps me? Nothing left on the mirror. Let's examine this just in case. I definitely still can't combo it. No, it's got red and blue. Um. It's a pipe. I know, I'll crawl into a pipe. Are you... <sighs> There's nobody to make fun of my lame jokes. Man, this sucks. Shut up. Oh, it's you can only look at the whole closet. Already got the screwdriver, there's nothing else in there. There was nothing else in here, right? Um Can I not look in there? What's left to look at? Hello? So I'm not reading this because I'm like, I need to figure this out. I need to swipe a key, but I don't have a key card. What? Are you serious? Oh, okay. can't rip them apart and then combine them because that would be too easy. So it's zero, two, six, three. Zero, two, six, three for the blue. A. I tr you noticed me clicking all of the pillows earlier and it wasn't working. Yes, all right, let's open it up. Yes, it opened. Looks like there's something in here. What is this? A file? File screen. Oh, it's actually a file, that's stupid. All right, let's see what's in this file. Hmm, digital root, let's see here. Compute a digital root with the following steps. First, add all the numbers in question to another. If you end with something greater than a single digit number, add the digits to one another. For instance, you have a double digit number, add the number in the tenth place to the number in the ones place. Keep adding digits until you have a single digit answer. That final single digit is your digital root. EX, the digital root of 678 would be, so it's gonna be six plus seven plus eight, which would be 13 plus eight, 21, which would be three. Therefore, the digital root of 678 is three. One, two, three, four would be five, eight, 10, so one. Therefore, digital root. Okay, cool. So just keep adding numbers until I get a single number. Why, yes. Yes, I do. Looks like there's something on the back of this thing. A notebook, a pen, a calculator, and a stack of key cards, huh? Um, I have a... There's a key card that I can swipe on the door. New material has been added to the file screen. Stop it. Stop it. I don't... I don't care. I don't need a calculator. I'm a strong, independent man. Uh, let me look at this. Um, seven, four, eight, 
5, 7485. Hey, easy game, easy life. I unlocked it. Opening more key cards. What numbers are they? 1, 2, 3. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 7 plus 8. We already did that one. 13, 21, 3. So it's a 6 and 3. I use the 6 blue card and I use the 3 red card. No. Oh, damn it. No, 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 no. That's right. I still have the cards I haven't used. Yes, you... Not again. There aren't any more cards in here. I've only got one other hint. Of course, the files. That file said something about a digital root. Ha! Huh. Nine times out of ten, if things make no sense, you haven't found everything yet. Okay. I'll go with that. Digital root, huh? What am I supposed to... Can I, can I answer that? No. No. No, you're an idiot. Oh, wait. Maybe he's not an idiot. Get the digital root of five. Couldn't I just do three and two, then? Oh, I have to select three, though? Uh, eight and seven gives me 15. So, eight, three, and two? So, eight plus seven plus six is three. Gives me 21. Eight plus seven gives me 14. Eight plus six gives me, wait. 8 plus 7 is 15, which gives me 6. 8 plus 6 is uh, 14. But then don't... Wait, what? 7... 7, 6, 1. There we go. Alright, I think this is going to work. There we go. That's a new noise. Huh, did it just unlock? Well, that light was red and now it's blue and no doubt about it there's nothing keeping me in here now time to go I'm not sure that how it works okay can you open the door also wouldn't the water come like rushing out with me you found it wait what hold up hold up how did I find it I found the exit we didn't die that also answers my question about rushing water wouldn't we be sinking the boat right now? Uh, my head. Wait, is it, is it over? What does yada mean? What? Whew. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. Well, better than drowning, I guess. I mean, you're still in a sinking ship. Am I in a, a hallway? Oh. A door. Another door. He's a little too excited about a door. When there's already literally Damn dozens of us. Water. Ugh. Let me go. Wait, what do you mean? Isn't that a speedrunning thing? Yada isn't a speedrunning thing. Huh. Yes, it opened. Glod is. Ooh, what? fancy. What the hell? This is the inside of a ship. Well. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, it's a Mario thing? Oh, I wouldn't know anything about it then. This is totally a... Ship? Wait, what the hell? A wave? Oh, shit! Shit! Okay, I, I gotta get out of here! Oh, it basically means hooray in Japanese. I see, I see. <laughs> pant! 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 Today I learned what hooray in Japanese. b deck. Next. What? Oh, hey. Um, so here we have fan service. Uh, random guy. And other guys. People. A lot of people. Um. Uh, I guess it's another one of us now. 
Hey Frisky Hurdle, how's it go? Oh, it's in Super Mario Maker, that makes sense. Some Japanese guy said that when he beat a really tough level. Got it, in Super Mario Maker, and that's what to do. Got it. Uh, a, a, a dancer? No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, uh, well, okay then. I guess technically she actually, there they have animations for the characters, which is a step up. Lol. Dancer, which we just know she isn't because they, she just told us she isn't. Silver hair? Huh? His name is Silver now. <laughs> One of us, huh? We're, what? Nothing. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Why is his name Lion? Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! Ah, oh, yes. Pink hair. The classic. That's nine of us, then. Thanks, Prince. All of the cards are in hand. You're already dead. You can't speak. Wait! They're gone. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. An old man like a lion and a prince. How do you come to that conclusion? What? Check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now go! Whoa. Hey, what is man, going on? That was dangerous. Huh? Oh, hey, Four. there's my door. And this one says five. They're the same. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. You too. My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs as I suspected. M me too. Pretty sure only each of us can open our own doors. Same for me. There's a door with a number. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? Open. Pretty sure we can only open the doors with our own number it's not on. Not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Out of my way. That's not gonna work. Why would you think that would work? It's very clearly a solid metal door. A body slam from a guy that big didn't even budge it. Are these guys really that they stupid? Must be some other way. Hmm. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. So is everything with that echo in your brain and that blue thing also in your so brain? That means this door is probably locked too. But still. Damn it! Are there any other doors? Can I just try what I wanted to try? He had scarcely taken a step when, at the top of the stairs next to an ornate clock embedded into the wall, he saw a person. Who dat? It was a girl. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. He froze, unable to look away from her face. He wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off his girl. Junpei had seen her somewhere before. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he'd met her before. The girl, too, stared at Junpei, similarly stunned. Her response suggested she'd seen him before as well. Uh. Huh? Uh. Uh. Without saying a word... Junpei walked slowly towards her. She didn't move. It was almost as though she were held in place by some sort of magical spell. As Junpei stepped on her, onto her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship shook a second time. Yeah! The quake caught the girl unprepared and she fell. Watch out! Moving on instinct, Junpei leapt to catch her. Or so he thought. Uh, are his hands gonna end up... Mm. Oh. Her face was far closer than it should be, should have been. Mere inches from his own. Yeah. She has lovely blue eyes. He was flat on his back, and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did. 
but her, his, her face suggested she still hadn't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment, that seemed to stretch for a very long time, they stared at one another. Ooh, she's got a flower in her hair. The ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. She looks like a girl. Gasp. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faint, faintly at the walls and ceilings, but eventually that faded as well. The silence was a complete, a thick, muffling blanket. At last, the girl opened her mouth. Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? <laughs> Jumpy? Really? <laughs> Jumpy. Jumpy. Her words echoed through Junpei's head, and suddenly his memory to return. Uh. Akane? Why hadn't he realized it before? The girl was Akane Kuru Kurushiki. She and Junpei had, fr had been friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. How do you not remember somebody you've known for six years? Like, unless this guy's like 30, I don't know how you don't recognize a face. But what was she doing on the ship? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. Is this that kind of novel? I'm just kidding. I already know it's not. He could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he thought he'd long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. <laughs> he could feel his face heating up. At that moment... Dude, I went to elementary school with so many girls have no idea who they are. And anybody who I was with... She has a flower in her hair. It threw, it threw him off. Yep, that flower. That flower, though. I feel like that entire character would be better if it was voiced the exact same as, um, as, uh, Teddy Bear. I forget his name right now. What? One sec. Monokuma, yeah. I feel like Zero would be better if it was Monokuma's voice. I am Zero, the captain of this ship. Yep, yep. Confirmed would be better if it was Monokuma. This is... That guy in the gas mask. Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. I see, I see. Well, you might like the second game then, Cap. <laughs> what do you mean to do to us? Wait. This is the first game in the series, correct? Holy hell, that impersonation was amazing. How's it going, Bobby? And thank you. That's that's actually the voice I read all of his lines because I loved it. That's my favorite voice or impression grammar. Either or. Yeah, this is the first one. Okay. Well, I wasn't sure because he's like, some of you might be familiar with this game. So I wasn't sure. If the, I guess other ones might be prequels. Again, still don't like it being called nonary. Nonary game. What the hell's that? What is he talking about? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Also, Bobby, I thought you haven't um, played and or watched Danganronpa. I thought you didn't have haven't seen any of it yet. Hey, I, I got one too. We will call them the numbered doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets each of you possess. Should you should the total numbers on your numbered bracelets you should should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find them that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who entered must leave, and all those who enter must contribute. The purpose of this game is simple. 
Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. So if there's a door that carries a nine, doesn't that mean only five of us could exit? Just looked it up because it sounded like Teddy and I wanted to confirm. <laughs> nice. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. It's, it's a super great one, by the way. Definitely recommend it. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? That seems like a poor way to say that sentence, but okay. On this ship, you will find a handful. We oh, will call the doors and I already read this. The key, though, should you and find that the only though there are only three. All those. So this thing on my arm is a bracelet. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave it. It is hit. Seek a way out. Yep. That is like the worst voice they could have used. It's like super hard to understand. Okay. Sounds strange, yeah. I, I just, it's hard to understand. I hear a bell. I think it's coming from over by the stairs. Is it the clock, maybe? It's the clock telling us the time. I, I guess I'm not completely stupid. Rang nine times, so nine o'clock then? Hi, huh, I feel like there's a theme of nine. Weird. I think it's 9 p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. You were also underwater, weren't you? If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Also, wouldn't that not work in Japan? I thought they used a 24-hour clock. Hey! You bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! This guy's pissed. Ugh, that guy won't stop shouting. And the others. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I have way too many questions. Who is Zero? What's the knownery game? What's it for? Is he some nutjob just doing this to mess with us? Or does he have some other purpose? Why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others? Why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Well, if you think all the other people are randomly picked, why wouldn't you think she's also- Did she just blink? Hey, they actually have animations. It's kind of awesome. Why her? Why now? Coincidence? No. There's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? get moving are you planning to open the numbered doors hey wait like, don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this this zero says i hope i get to actually know people's names no no that's not what i mean i'm saying let's find another way after all we haven't really examined this place yet we what where have we not looked everyone searched day deck already right yeah we were kind of in a rush though so we probably missed some things why don't we check out the lower floors first? Why were they in a rush? We didn't know that we were going to die anytime soon, and if they were on the A-deck, they wouldn't have known that the ship was flooding. We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. This logic, though. I like Lion's voice. I agree, I like most of their voices. Um. Whoa! Well. What the hell? It's completely submerged. Damn water level keeps rising like this we're all gonna drown thank you captain obvious no i don't believe that's something we have to worry about see the water's not flowing 
That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. If I actually let the game sit for nine hours, do we die? <sighs> That's depressing. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. Looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. Huh, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. They're pretty suspicious. No numbers on either door, and I don't see an authentication device either. Nope, it's locked. Oh, so I'm gonna take that as an assumption that no, there actually isn't. This That's no too. fun. Damn, none of the doors are opening. I love when games do like that kind of meta, like if you actually wait time properly, it actually affects the game. Like Far Cry did a really good job of that. Hey guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. Hey. <sighs> this one doesn't open either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man. Give me a hand. Did none of them know how to pick locks? Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> love it. It won't budge. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Could you not? Who is that girl? Oh, sorry. The whole do nothing thing. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Let's try using your brain first. Huh? Well, that's very aggressive of her. Take a closer look. A keyhole. That right. don't. It's obvious what we need to open this door. That doesn't mean forced. Okay, apparently she doesn't understand. If there's a keyhole on a door, that doesn't mean you can't open it with force. <clears throat> a key, huh? You got a problem? No, I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. <sighs> What's this? There's a mark on it. D does it mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? More doors. Oh, hey, that's the, um... That's a planet. That's a symbol for a planet, and I can't remember the name of it. The only reason I ever know this is because it was in Bioshock. It's an I. But yeah, that little that little symbol right there, that's the symbol for a planet. I think, there are I think it's an astrology thing. There's an inverted yep. triangle. Illuminati there. confirmed. We already know from from Yakuya that the Illuminati are real, so... May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Shocker. Maybe the power is on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. It's a planet. What's this? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. This is the symbol of Saturn. What up? I didn't know what planet, but what up? I knew it. It's an astrological symbol. What up? Then the mark on the other door. These games are not set in the same universe, I refuse. I think that was the sun symbol. Okay, I, I probably should have been able to guess that one. We saw the same symbols on A deck. Did we, Pinker? Did? <laughs> I don't remember that. A deck, huh? Oh, I've, God. I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. We may as well check again since we're talking about it. There, the two doors next to the stairs. Also, that is an amazing emote. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. That's Which is right. It, it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. Is it moon? I don't know what that symbol is. I've never seen it before. This is an Earth symbol. Earth. Okay, got it. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. I see. Hmm. The ceiling. Metal plates. It's as if it's covering something up. Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. I wish we could get out through there. Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. I love how his mind goes to explosives. The windows too. Huh. They're all covered. In other words... We're trapped. All the exits go nowhere. 
thank you. I definitely needed to re-see all of those locked windows in the flooded basement to really hammer in the fact that this... Are you sure this gets better? Well, this is I'm pretty sure cheesy. Somewhere. We just can't open them. Like, this is insanely cheesy. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No. I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. Oh, you mean the number doors. Hey, wait a minute. Well, the bolts on the windows are smaller than the bolts on the Danganronpa ones. I mean, you're not wrong. So maybe we can break out. If we had a Sakura, we could break out. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. Did you have any better ideas? I can't stay here forever. I say, if you don't have a better idea, yes. then that's the way to go. I'm in favor as well. No, I'm totally against this. But shouldn't we at least try? Yes, pink hair. We don't know what will happen. We should stay here. That's a terrible idea. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Uh. Hey, shut up. Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. Yes, that is the best way to solve everybody arguing is to yell shut up. Confirmed. What's that? Also, how old is she? Like 12? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are, who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. 18. Got it. Totally. That she looks 18. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Totally. Jumpy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junpei. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop. Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Zero's probably watching us right now. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would. We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us he had them get us to do stuff you know man this guy's like thinking full-on monokuma is gonna be there but we still need to know what our names are it's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names no i'm just gonna call pink hair pink hair forever all right then why don't we have code names code names yeah we'll each pick something mountain smart <laughs> i mean smart or crazy because it definitely seems like little column a little column b like I'll be seven. Based off of your number? Seven? Why are you seven? Because there's a number on his watch that says seven. Because this bracelet number says seven. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's dehumanize everybody and call them by their numbers. All right. I'm going to be Santa. What? That has nothing to do with a number. Maybe you chump. Three, so I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus fits, don't you think? What? Hold up, what? Any of you know Chump's new? Oh, so they had to explain why he's called Santa in English because it's a Japanese reference. <laughs> Got it. Then your bracelet number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. This guy is kind of a dick. Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. Okay. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. Duh, that's just common trivia. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is... Eight. I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. My bracelet number is two. And it looks like a snake? Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice snake eyes clearly which is particularly relevant given that i'm blind you can't see i love how nobody noticed snake 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 i knew it K me next i want to be clover because she's four you know like a four-leaf clover hey Good luck, right 
I got something right. All right, my number's five. So my code name is gonna be. Oh, I have one. It's not like there's any point to it now. I mean, <laughs> we all know your name already. You're Junpei. My snake always looks like a two. It's inaccurate. <laughs> Lol. Oh. Uh, then you should all call me by my name too, because I mean, it doesn't seem. It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Uh, What's your bracelet number? It's six. All right then, uh, why don't we call you June? Why is it, why is it over her sleeve and nobody else's is over clothing at all? Or is it just cause she has really, really long sleeves and nobody else does? June? It's the yeah, six month. Know, it's, the, it's the six month of the year. Hey, he pronounces it the same way I do. So you're June. Or sorry, no, he pronounces it the different way than I do. Whoops. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Okay then. Okay then. <laughs> that's that's a uh, really reassuring. Got it. <laughs> so this is how everyone breaks. One is Ace. Two is Snake. Three is Santa. Four is Clover. Five is me. Six is June. Seven is seven. And eight is Lotus. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. The only one left is that glasses guy. Hair like a bird's nest. Oh yeah, what happened to him? You haven't said a thing so far, have you? <laughs> what number are you? Mm. Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here. And you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. Thanks, Shaggy. So you're nine? Yeah. What's your code name? Uh, code name? What do you want us to call you? I don't we trust all made this up guy. Names. You should too. I don't trust this guy at all. Mukuro Ikusaba. I don't need one. Why not? Because I am not gonna stay here with you. You've got some sort of plan? I do. Yeah? What's that? You sure you want to know? Yeah. All right. Let me show you. I'm going to do this. <laughs> hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Yeah, what is he doing? Stay back. Ah. That's definitely a dick move. Um, I don't know what he supposes to accomplish by threatening somebody. If you get any closer, I'll cut her open. Uh. Yeah. That's right. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you, this is my plan. What are you going to do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. <laughs> Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Wait, if he's nine and she's four... If you add them together, that's 13. He's trying to go through door number four with her. Here, verify. <laughs> the left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place what your hand punk. on the scanner panel, the round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. Wasn't well, his knife facing the wrong way, so actually he kind of couldn't? I'll kill you if I have to. That's... Do the doors open if you're dead? All I need is your bracelet. Why do you know that? <laughs> Just do it. Do it now. Uh, okay, I'll do it. Thinking. Like this. So that's how it works. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. Then... Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door five. But why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? It's like he knows exactly what to do. It's like this uh, character is reading my, my head. Good, good, you're done. Next? You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes, I am. So? Then 
You're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <laughs> what are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Now, verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? Now the device has both Clover and Ace's numbers. Four and one. Four plus one is five. It's the same as the number written on the door. But I won't open because you need at least three people. It won't open yet. Only three. Okay. One yep. More. It's what I said. said is true. He needs one more person. Who? Who does he need? Nine. Get back. No! Father! Okay. Ah. Wait. Uh, don't tell me. Clover's four and Ace is one. Uh, Added this... to the ninth man's nine. Four plus one plus nine is fourteen. And the digital root of fourteen, one plus four, is five. In other words... <laughs> Did he really just now figure that out? What else would he be doing? You were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. Oh. Good. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Wait. Here. She's all yours. But the door won't close unless the three people. Okay. I'm going off ahead. Goodbye. That's not how that works, though. It says so in the rules. Everybody has to go through. Clover, are you all right? We should call him Sayaka because he threatens people with knives. Shouldn't we call him Yuri then? Quick maths. Yeah, I'm fine. Aren't they in trouble, though? Because everybody who goes in the door is supposed to do something. And everybody who uses their numbers is supposed to go in the door. Damn it! That bastard! Like, isn't there a problem here? <clears throat> open, damn it! Oh, they're trying to open the door. That's not clear. Shit! It won't budge. Do you hear something? Like, what? Like, some sort of beeping. You're right. Now I do. I can hear it too. What is it? Why is it stopping? God damn it! You, you lied. Lied? This wasn't supposed to happen. This is wrong. This is wrong. What is happening in there? Open the door, please. I'm begging you. Help me. Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! Ah, God damn it! Oh, I don't think they why, can even if they want to. Why won't it work? Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! There's no time left. Listen, I was lied to. He lied to me. He put me in here. I don't see why anybody would believe him, but okay. It was him! He killed me! It was him! <laughs> oh, he dead. Oh, he's super dead. <gasps> A beep? Did that thing just make that sound? Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. Should we call him Mukuro? Oh! Oh! Oh. Feels bad, man. Feels real bad, man. Let's see if we can open it. No, because Mukuro is actually amazing. And just misunderstood because her sister is a psycho and ruined her. Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number. Uh-oh. It won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. So, I need to add, I have to go up to the next one, which means I have to add up to 14 again. So, a 4 and a, th 4 would get me to 9, and then a 6 would get us to 15. So, I need 4 and a 4. So, that won't work. A 6 and a 3? Yeah, 6 and a 3. Wait, what? That would get us 14. 
Scott. Oh, these are all the options. Ace and Lotus, Snake and Seven, or Santa and June. Santa and June. Easy pick. So when the maker of this game was asked who his favorite character was, his response was the ninth man. Lol. Santa and uh, um, June, uh, you think you could give me a hand here? Mm -hmm. hmm. Five plus three plus six is 14. Yes. The digital root of 14. This should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. You guys ready? I'm gonna open it. Couldn't I have technically done more people? Oh, that's oh blood on the God. inside of the doors. Good God. Whoa, that's pretty bad. Um. He, he blew up. June, uh, uh, are you okay? What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? No, she's gonna pass out and turn into Genocide Jill. Uh... All right, okay, uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? Here we go. How are you feeling? Uh, are you all right? Why? Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? Yes, we've just been keeping it secret the entire time. Rip the ninth man. And nothing of value was lost that day. Who's Zero? What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? Anything? What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? It's 10 o'clock then. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap! How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until this time limit Zero was going on about is up. Let's get going already! Go! Go! No, I refuse. I'm not gonna end up like him. Okay, then you're gonna end up drowning to death. Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course, who else? You mean the ninth man. What a lovely way to remember him. Blood. Blood and pieces of flesh. That's no way for a person to die. <clears throat> I think he just screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap and that killed him. I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive. <laughs> <laughs> What's so goddamn funny? Oh, my apologies. You were just, uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. What the fuck? <laughs> I think you've mistaken the situation. Huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least, not the sort of trap you imagine it did. Then? He broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. Huh? You still don't... All right. How about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said? You mean like you have to be in a team? Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? Like I said? He said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Right? And after that? You've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero say? <sighs> Zero said... Everyone who verified has to go through. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute, right? I think it was something like that. Whatever it was, it, it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. The ninth man, however, broke that rule. Because he's a little punk. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. So is it really 999 if... Really has somebody die right away, though? Thinking. That was why he was executed. And Zero's watching us from somewhere. Making sure we don't Gold star, lives. give... Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. 
I've waited long enough, I suppose. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but that seems increasingly unlikely. Do you know something? Well, I know a great many things, but yes. He sounds like a dude from Warcraft. What is it you know? Here. Do you need something? A card? What does it say? See for yourself. Is it in Braille? Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? Give me that. Huh? The hell is this? It's in Braille, because he's blind, probably, if I had to take a guess. <laughs> I see. Yeah. This is Braille. Yes. Sorry, guys. I, I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? I found it in my pocket. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. From Zero? A message? Wh what does it say? Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you and only you with information. What a nice guy. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. The red is the recognition device. If you verify your number, beside every number door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the number door, you must use the dead to stop the detonator in your bracelet. But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I am afraid this might be something of a surprise. I have placed a small bomb inside of you, and people who you are about to meet. Apparently Ace did the voice of the priest in Warcraft 3. That would be why that voice sounds exactly like the priest in Warcraft 3. Good to know. I have no doubt, by the time you read this note, the ball will have passed your stomach and found it way to your small intestine. In other words, you would be unable to regurgitate it. I suggest you do not try. As I mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand contains a detonator. Think of it as a remote fuse, or timer, for God in your body. There is only one condition to call it detonate. That condition is that you enter a number door. Once you have done so, the timer will activate, no matter who you may be. Does that mean Zero has one? Thank you. You will have 81 seconds. AKA 9? If you act by time, the detonator has not been deactivated. It will send a signal to the bomb in your body. Instructing it to explode. In order to deactivate the detonator, every person who verified their number at the red must also verify their numbers at the dead. Once all numbers have been verified by the dead, you need only pull the lever at its side, and the countdown will cease. Well, at least he's pretty straightforward. Anyone who does not verify their number at the red. Will find themselves unable to verify their number at the dead. And then die, so that helps keep it. Apparently Ace is in a lot of things. I'm not surprised, he has a pretty good voice. Whoops. If you don't Oh yeah, go figure. You die if you enter you and you're not supposed to enter. Mind, that numbered doors will close automatically after nine seconds have passed. So long as the door is open, the dead will not function. You would do well to remember this. So is there a way to break the doors to keep them open? Lastly, we have to discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, you are hungry, which is zero. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confine of the ship, what acts at a very heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. There is no other way to remove your bracelet. What if I cut my hand off? If you attempt to force it off, when you say go to the mirror, the bomb within you will immediately explode. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. 
if you is how danger do you oh let me read that if used wisely you can eliminate those who might be a danger for you for a time you will be able to control your fate i wish you the best of luck interesting so it's saying only those who verify their teams can't add the reds dead okay oh, don't, don't uh, want to keep reading that shit a fucking bomb C come out uh, uh, come out damn it there's a bomb inside me oh what made zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea all right i'm gonna ask one more time do any of you know anything about zero This game is the bomb. Actually, I, uh, I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. I didn't see his face, though. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. Oh, they're all going to say, yeah, same. What the hell? Come on, guys. Give me something. You know, like surprise or something. I saw that, too. I did as well. Me, too. I didn't see inside the mask, though. That mask, it was really scary. Huh? Oh, so her voice also sounds kind of all familiar. of our abductions were the same we were taken from home at midnight the person claiming to be zero had a mask on there was white smoke and then each of us passed out we woke up to find ourselves on d-deck in a room with a three-level bunk bed okay so they all did wake up in d-deck so what you're telling me is we suck as a main character yet again because it took us so long to get out that they had already gone all of them found each other went all the way up to the a floor and all the way back down and the time it took us to get out. Got it. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Okay, uh, that's good enough for now. So, I have a question. I remember when Jovine didn't, <laughs> when didn't stream depressing and emotionally exhausting games feels bad, man. I mean, I would argue nothing depressing and bad has happened. To be fair, you didn't look under the pillows. You know, you're not wrong. Um... I would I would argue as of right now, um, this game isn't depressing. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room, and you woke up together. So, what's the deal with the two of you anyway? We're siblings. What? What? Siblings? Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. Only one person was bad, and it wasn't our waifu, so. I mean, the person you might think is best girl in this game might be different than the one I think is best girl so far. That really so hard to understand? She is correct, of course. Are you, uh, surprised? Yes, she has pink hair and you have gray hair. Are you stupid? Well, yeah, but why? There are other people here with connections to one another. How do you know that? Those two, for instance. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Oh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? Sorry, okay, I guess that's kind of fair. There's always some life-threatening event. I miss spray paint. Lol. I mean, I'm actually planning on getting Beat Saber, and that might be a game we play later down the line. I was thinking about playing it today because it got released today, but I just was like, I don't have it yet, and I was like, mm, uh, do I really want to get it right now? Do I want to do it in VR? But that might be tomorrow or Tuesday, Thursday, actually. We'll see. Depends on how much people are wanting to jump back into this wait you went to school together yeah well yeah hey you think maybe we could figure out who zero is this way sirens you shut your mouth we don't speak of sayori when <laughs> feels bad man sayori was the best girl okay she was best girl yeah you're right you connect the dots between the victims, and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Junpei, Jun, does any of this ring a bell? Say, hurry, wasn't deleted. She will always be not deleted in my heart. Huh. Ring a bell. Ring a bell? Well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multimillionaire. <laughs> ah, yes. I, I totally forgot, yes, that, that multi-millionaire that was in my classes with me, of course. Son? Well, someone bought this boat and set up all of this. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. 
Well, we can't be sure of that. Bakuya Togami. Yep, confirmed. This is actually Bakuya Togami's boat. Um, this is all part of the test to see whether or not we'll be able to beat Monokuma. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Full circle, guys. Most likely, Easy. Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What sort of organization? It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group. Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. I mean, come on! A guy's dead! I don't know who the hell this Zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's got to be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. Thanks, Santa. I thought we were finished with that topic. But then what should we do? We should talk it through. Oh my god, enough! All we're doing is talking! He's not wrong. Talking won't solve anything! It can't help us find our way out of here! You really sure you want to just sit around? We only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. You're right. Very well then. There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Yeah, you give him that sass, Clover. Well, thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. But... But what? Who's going to go in which door? Oh yeah, uh, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Wait. How many different mathematical ways can we split up into digital roots of four and I'm five? I'm telling you now, there is no way are. in hell that I'm going into door five. Come on now, don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. So that means she's got to go with eight, eight, five, and one. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. Well, I think so. Eight, five, and one, and that leaves us with five other people. Or I guess there could be other combos. I don't know. Eight, five, and one's the one I immediately think of. But that's not mathing that way, correct? Uh, so it should be eight, four, and one if she wants to go in four. And we were doing so well. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. So, as of right now, that only leaves five, two, and six. Two and seven. Oh, Santa, not you two. Hey, man, I just bought these shoes. Wow. Wow. Get out of here, Pecuya. If you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another thing coming. What the hell, man? Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah. So? Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. Fine. I'll go into door five. I can't go in there alone, though. So are the other choices seven, four, and one? Oh, sorry. No, that, that, that's not how that works. Seven, four, one, and two. I'll go in that door. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. So, 7-2, that's 9. Then it has to be me. What? Don't worry. You'll be fine. We may part now. How do you know that? Because I do. That's not an answer! I mean, it is an answer. It's just an answer you don't like. If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door 5. What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Yes. Seven is seven, and snake is two. One plus four is five. Nine plus four is f 14, and that's and five. And if you add Clover's four in my one, the digital root will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one. The digital root of... I'm not oh, reading it. It works it's perfectly. Seven. The four of us can go into door five. Wait, what about the other four? What's their digital root going to be? So we've got eight, five, six, and three... Lotus, Santa, June, and me. 
8, 3, 6, and 5, yeah. So 8, 5, 6, and 3. So 6 plus 5 is 11. 3, 14, 8, 22. That's 4. Our yeah, that's perfect. 8, 3, 6, 5. 4. 8 plus 3 plus 6. The digital root of... It's 4. Add up our 4 bracelet number. Then we can go into door 4. Perfectly. Yeah. That Wait, is it saying well. you've got another think coming? I thought it was always you've got another thing coming. No, it's always been you've got another thing coming. Where did you get you've got another think coming? Did somebody say that? If you think I'm gonna go and you've got another think coming. Oh my god, you're right. Santa, you idiot. Oh. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven snake. I'm not rereading that. That's totally pointless. Are these really the teams I want? Beyond door five is what remains of the ninth man. It makes sense though. I mean, I'm not saying it's not wrong. It would be a good idea to look at the corpse. So I got it. Junpei is very, very clearly Kyoko. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. Or should I stop them and insist on door five? I don't All think right I have a choice, do I? It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. I... which door? Four will be fine. Ooh. I'm not gonna ruin it and make a sister and brother split up. And I trust Ace enough to take care of stuff over there. Um, and Snake, for that matter. Um, and I do get what you're saying. Another think coming kind of does make sense, but I'll whatever. Door four with Lotus, Santa, and June. It's definitely always been Thing. And I'd rather go with June anyways. There's nothing to worry about. I just need to stay by her side. Exactly. This should be fine. It's no problem this way. Even though Pink is cuter. I should see the other four off. Looks like Ace and the others are going. <sighs> Now then, goodbye. Be careful. Google says think is the correct one. Really? I have never ever heard anybody pronounce it think. It's always been thing. You've got another thing coming. Oof. So horrible. What are you doing? We need to hurry. Snake, your shoes. It's fine. Hurry. Or are you planning on dying with everyone else? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Sorry, Snake. Let's go. That one's closed. Hey, how is it over there? Did you find anything? Please say something, will you? It's one of those things where everyone says it wrong and becomes right. Fair enough. That sounds about right. It is the English language. Something's beeping it's just like before probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet do you think they're okay they better be <laughs> if they kill pink i'm gonna be so pissed uh. hey there it is that's gotta be that dead thing come on get over here we gotta authenticate three four cool they're good hey easy stopped <sighs> looks like it stopped hey guys are you doing all right over there? Yep, we're fine. Oh, and hey, I'm gonna tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? The dead is just like the red, but the color's different. Is it black? You know how the red was red? Yes. Well, the dead is blue. Okay. Other than that, it's just like the red. Cool. Authenticating is the same too. <laughs> awesome, thanks. That helps a lot. No, think makes sense. It's just everybody calls it thing. Because the idea is, you've got another thing coming. Like, if you really think that's true, you've got another thing coming. Like, another problem coming at you. Well, we should probably move on now. You be careful out there. Roger that. Whew. Now it's our turn. Oh, curious. Cyclone, are there any English phrases or any American phrases that you've heard and just been like, what? Why is that a thing? Why is that a phrase? Because I know that's going to happen with 
with learning a foreign language because i already run into that with like like i don't understand the usage of opa for everything in korea guys older than you opa guy you like who's older than you opa actual brother opa older friend opa guy you actually think is really cute and is in a romantic relationship with you opa what or their use of fighting doesn't make any sense i'll go first probably can't think of you at the top of my head fair enough i had to ask because i'm always curious about that okay we ready yeah sure let's go all right let's go so is there actually any point in the second screen at all like will i ever need to swap to that second screen for any good reason don't explode uh damn it's counting down uh um we can't go back we need to hurry and find the device hey where the hell is the de how would i know don't give me that crap start looking i already am don't tell me the dead is in one of those rooms. Oh no, how many rooms do you think there are? Ah, fuck! We don't have time to count. We just need to open them all. It, shit, this same here. It's not moving! Uh-oh. Oh. Shows you how the room's laid out. Uh -oh. There it is, at the end of the hallway. Run! Hey, to be fair, they have a minute and 20 seconds, but... How would I know? Our time limit is 81 seconds! I know that, goddammit! This is needlessly cruel. You're not wrong. I'm asking you how many seconds we have left! Hurry! It would've been- It's the dead! Get over here! Would've been way easier to just put it on one of the stupid Come doors. On, or like, right next to the entrance. Woo! <laughs> the digital root of 81 is 9. Yes! It's because 8 plus 1 is 9. <sighs> And because giving us nine seconds would be cruel, and giving us 900 would be way too much. And 90 would be too just obvious. It's also... Oh. Digital root of 999 is 92. Is it? Yeah, that's what I was going to say, Cyclone. I'm pretty sure that's the real reason it was picked, is because it was 9 squared. Uh, it looks like it stopped. There's another door at the end of the hallway. Let's try this one first. And of course it won't open. Why am I staring at a lamp when you're opening the door? Coincidence, I think not. A keyhole. Oh, that's a um, Venus? What's this mark? It mail? No, not exactly. That's Mars. That's probably the symbol of Mars. Well, technically, they are the same symbol, but I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. The symbols of the solar system. Yes. Oh, th that's right. Did you completely forget we went over that earlier, Junpei? The sun, Saturn, and Earth. At least that's what I'm assuming. So this isn't the man symbol. It's a symbol for Mars? To be fair, again, same symbols. I think so, yes. I see. Wait, where's Santa? Yeah, so, I looked the place over. Here's the deal. None of the other doors open. Then that must mean... We only have two more doors. Maybe it's the room number. Uh, 9 plus 3 is 12, so 3. 9 plus 2 is 11, so 2. None of those are helpful. The door on the left has a B92, and the one on the right says B93. All right, let's open them. I'll open B92. Okay, I'll get B93 then. One, two, three! Mars is the fourth planet. Oh, is it? Hey. My very educated mother. You're opened. totally right. I didn't even think about yeah, that. It did. I, uh, I didn't expect that. It was so easy. I mean, that's that's how opening doors usually is supposed to be. Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. Can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. Well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here. Let's find it. 
Santa and I will search this room. You two take the other one. All right. Okay. Could you not flash a giant bright white light in my face? Seek a way out. Oh, so the when you say you found it is actually yes, you found a room. That vase looks expensive. I guess I should actually use voices because I have a chance to actually voice people. Yay! That vase looks expensive. I wonder how much we could get for it. Why are you thinking about selling things in it? Never mind. Hey, wait! Wait, that picture! Are you gonna steal it? <laughs> this looks really familiar. It's the Funyarimpa. Yeah, it's the Funyarimpa. This is a kind of weird looking picture. Do you think it's an abstract painting or something? It looks kind of like a demon with an elephant-like nose, sucking on a human being's brain. That's oddly specific. Where the hell did that come from? What's her brain made of? Can't say I mind finding a little more about what goes on in there. It's the Funyarimpa though. Some white, weird black and white design. Looks like there's a room to the right inside the picture. So obviously it's not that important. Oh yeah, how's your fever? You feeling better now? Okay, let's voice act again. Yes, I'm fine. Let me see your forehead. Ah. Uh. I can't unsee what it actually is, lol. <laughs> I guess it really has gone down. Are you <laughs> worried about me? No, Baka. Yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> <laughs> Giggle. I love how, like... Uh... By the way, Jumpy? Hmm? How did you end up here? What do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? There was a man with a gas mask when you got home at night. You inhaled some white smoke and passed out. When you woke up, you were on D-Deck. Damn straight. But is that really the truth? Yes. What? Jumpy, are you hiding something from me? No, why would I? Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. We're stay hydrated about when we need him. Yeah, what a punk. I mean, why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like this? Well, technically speaking, didn't that also happen with Sayaka and, uh, Macha Frappe? Uh, what was his name? Makoto? Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Are you hiding something? What would I hide? Well, I, I don't know. Anything. I mean, you're hiding it. How would I know? You mean, like, the number of men I've dated? Why would that be what I care about in this situation, Jude? Why would you bring that up? I'm sorry, what? What? <laughs> what? Do you want to know? Yes, but that's a different subject. <sighs> Don't worry. Only 18. Hey, that adds up to 9. <sighs> Time zero. Aww. Yeah, I guess I just haven't met Mr. Wright yet. She's hiding the amount of guys she slept with, clearly. I don't know why this is even being brought up right now. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I see. Yep. Mm. Yeah, totally. Uh, this is a normal conversation you have with uh, friends of yours um, when you're in a murderous situation. Anyway, I'm not hiding anything. Just like you, Jumpy. When I woke up, I was on D-Deck. Well, you do have a point. I mean, why did Zero pick us? We haven't seen each other since elementary school. Hmm, I wonder. Look for what connects the victims. That will lead you to the culprit. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? Yeah, I do. So? Well, that's what I'm saying. I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. That seems like a jump, but okay. You got any ideas who it might be? No, nothing. Oh. Well, 
if it had something to do with school, then it could be one of our teachers or maybe the principal. It's Monokuma confirmed. They went to uh, they went to Hope High or the janitor. Hope's Peak or the High School. Lady. No, I can barely remember any of them. Flood timer bot. Only seven hours t left. Stop chit chatting and find the way out. <laughs> Lol. Yeah, I know. Could you imagine a text adventure? Like, could you imagine a Twitch plays flooding Titanic ship kind of game like this? Where, like, it randomly picks nine people that actually have to be playing through it on, twi on like, a Twitch stream? I would watch that. Nine streamers, or ra nine strangers failing miserably. I'm betting they would all die almost immediately. That's the bathroom wall. There are square tiles all over. There's a blue platform protruding from the shower wall next to the knobs. It's for putting soap on. I used a shower once, so I know. Oh, I see. If you, if you use one shower, you know everything about every shower, huh? That's the shower knob. Let's see if anything happens when we turn it. No water's coming out. It's just a shower head. There's nothing special about it. Got it. Can I... Oh. That's weird. A collection of full and partially depleted rolls of toilet paper. Someone was well prepared. There's nothing too suspicious about it. Except one's over and the other is under. Which is blasphemy. There's nothing here. The tank's empty, too. There isn't even water in it. Oh, uh, yeah. Why don't we go back? Okay. Take a shower with June. Why would it be Kappa Pride? That's the wrong Kappa. Ah. Jumpy, what are you doing? We don't have time to be relaxing on a sofa. It's a display case. But there's nothing being displayed. How sad. Looks like the drawers are empty too. Kappa straight. Cyclone, please. It's a round wooden table. You're not wrong, but still. It's a bottle with water in it. Hey, water, water. Nothing else has water. It's a bedroom. They probably have it in here because your throat always feels dry when you wake up, you know? You're not wrong. You don't know. She might be like Jihiro. Plus. My throat's dry, but I think it's because I'm a little nervous right now. Well, we did run a lot, so we're kind of sweaty. Hey, Jumpy, did you want to take a... What? 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 Did you want to take a shower together? Whoa! <laughs> Just kidding. Too late to take it back. My brain's already working out the picture. My throat was dry already. This sure isn't helping. Oh my god. Oh my god. A wooden cupboard. Uh, wouldn't that just be called a wardrobe? There are cups inside, surprising no one. Why are there cups in... What? Look, there's two pillows next to each other. Yes, that's usually how beds are. Guess it's a double. Huh? What's up? You're turning red. Oh man, is her fever back? No, she's being perverted. Hey, are you alright? Do you need to lay down for a minute? I'm fine. I think it's a little early for that. Huh? Hey, seriously, are you really okay? It's a light blue blanket. Sun's made a bed or unrated. There's bed sheets under the blanket, nothing exciting. A bed frame. Now we don't have to worry about falling off. I toss and turn when I sleep. Why are you telling me so much about your life right now? Does that really seem pertinent to the situation? She's blushing again. What the hell is she thinking about? This guy's really not that smart. This isn't a painting. Is it a map? It looks like a map of the ship's interior. Oh, this is a great find. I think it'll be really useful. Let's take it with us. I really don't care about the map right now. This ship is bigger than I thought. <laughs> yeah, it's probably about 900 feet long. Must be one of those fancy cruise ships. Of course, it doesn't really look like a cruise ship. Everything in here is really retro 
Huh. Even if it's just some sort of style choice, there's just too much. Do you remember what Zero said? Yeah, Titanic. Do you think maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with each other? That seems like a lot of, like, wasted effort to get a ship that's essentially the same as the Titanic, but he is a psycho, so. Hmm, that's a good point. I doubt he would have mentioned it if there wasn't a reason. Hmm. hmm. Do you think this boat is... It's not the actual Titanic, because that would be in the middle of the ocean. A replica of the Titanic? A replica? Yeah, you know, like a copy of the actual boat. Who on earth would make something like that? Who on earth would trap nine people on a boat and try to kill them all? Fans. Crazy Titanic fans. No way. Do you even know how much money that would take? No idea. But all they've got to do is break even, you know? Break even? Yeah, they could use it as a cruise ship. Climb aboard a piece of history, sail around the world in the resurrected Titanic. I'm 90% sure that's not a good way to sell a ship, because the Titanic crashed. That's like saying, come fly in a replica Hindenburg. Nope, nobody wants to do that. Hell, with marketing like that, they'd probably have more customers than they'd know what to do with. I... Do you really think people would want to ride on a ship with such an ominous past? It's the site of the worst accident in history. Eh, is it the worst though, really? <sighs> Over 1,500 people died. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd get cursed just for going. Wait, I haven't seen the movie The Titanic Crashes. Spoiler alert. Lol. A curse, huh? Jumpy, do you believe in that sort of thing? You know curses and stuff see there's no good answer here because the answer i do i wouldn't really say that but at the same time i would not say no they're a load of crap because that's obviously going to hurt her feelings this person apparently has no no comprehension of how to not insult somebody when saying honestly i don't know for yeah, sure. well, um, I, I guess so, I, to a certain extent. Uh, what about you? No, I, I, I guess that's kind of a dumb question. Yes, I do believe in curses. In fact, I think it was a curse that sunk the Titanic. Mm, no, no, it really wasn't. It was definitely an iceberg. What? Yeah, I wanted to see the movie, but real life spoiled the ending for me, TT. A curse sank the Titanic. The curse of the Egyptian mummy. Cerns, mm, mm, Cerns, this woman needs help. Supposedly, the Titanic carried the mummy of the priestess Amun-Ra. How come it's always blamed on Amun-Ra? Everybody blames it on Amun-Ra. Every single time. Which was stolen from a pyramid. And they say that the mummy had a history. Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. It's because there was a fungus on it that actually legitimately killed them. Come on, I'm sure you've heard of it before. Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Uh, haven't you ever heard that one? So you're saying the Titanic sunk because of that curse? I'm not a professional. I cannot professionally help her like she clearly needs. That's right! That mummy, the priestess, supposedly, she was special. What do you mean? Well, supposedly, she was really pretty. Okay. You're really pretty, but you don't expect to kill people when you die, do you? Pretty? Yes. But it, she was a mummy. Before she died, you idiot. That's right. She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She almost looked alive. Oh. She was still pretty well she was a mummy. Okay. That's still stupid, but okay. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, it's that thing. I uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, where your body turns into some kind of wax? Yeah? Are you talking about embalming? That doesn't turn you into wax, does it? The fat in it turns into something kind of like candle wax, right? Yes, saponification. But 
that's not what it was. Hold up, is that a real th what? 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 Saponification. A name for a chemical reaction when an acid and a base turns into salt. When you make soap using the cold process, uh, using the cold process soap making method, you mix an oil or fat, which is your acid, with lye, which is your base, to form salt. Soap, which is salt. Soap is salt. What? What? That's literally, literally the page right here. Soaps are salts of fatty acids. What? What? Huh? What? That's not it. She wasn't wax. What? To be fair, technically not wax, salt, but okay. Then what was it? They say that she was frozen. Okay, well, keep in mind, not only does she know a lot of weird stuff about dead bodies and curses, but she also knew astrology. So, there is a reasonable expectation that she's into some... Oh my god. She's hero. She's hero, but really cute. What? It frozen? That's right. The whole body was frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Something like that. Well, all of that water was frozen. Hero's cute too. No. No, he's not. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic. Even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, I'm not saying I wouldn't like think it's pretty cool to have hair like hero if i could actually pull it off i'm just saying cute is not the word i would describe him i think so too but maybe it's true and we just didn't know about it before i didn't know yep maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever Uh, nah, that seems too silly to be true. But maybe it isn't. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, yeah, um... Is this I a real conversation? Know. Desert? Like, does, does something like that really exist? No. No. That, that that would not be ice. The Earth is flat on Luminaki. No, even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? Hmm. Why is this a discussion we just had? Hmm. This is the mirror for the dresser. And now she's playing with her hair. Does she even realize she's doing that? Hey, we don't have time for that. Come on, it's not like there's anyone here you need to impress. Yes, there is. Who? Are you that blind? You now have six hours left due to that conversation. Junpei is the most oblivious guy I've ever met. Ever. You're you're literally like oh. MC you so dumb. Forget it, Jumpy. Why you dumb? The chair that goes with the dresser. There is nothing particularly interesting about it. A light. Thanks to it, we can see. Thanks for the sass. I want to do something with the. I know there's something weird with the picture because you guys already showed it to me. Is the biggest problem. Um. Hmm. There's something weird about this wall. 
Because it's not a consistent pattern at all. Oh wait, yes it is. Never mind, I'm stupid. But I'm pretty sure it's the same pattern that we see on the bed. No, not at all. It's a light. Even if it's heavy. That's light. You take your puns and get it out of here. I'm so confused. Am I missing something super obvious? Can I light something on fire? This box of matches. There are matches inside, obviously. Key, do you think it's the one in the dresser? Should I... Okay, so we have that dresser. I don't see any other dresser. Oh, can I go out? Jumpy, where are you going? Um, I was thinking about going over to Lotus's room. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm just gonna go check up on them. Is there something wrong with that? Well, no. Come back soon. Sure thing. I'll leave the rest to you. Sure. Leave it to me. All right, off to the other room. Overly attached girlfriend. The room in the back is dark. Aren't there any lights? Huh? It's a light switch, right? Sweet, I can use a light. Shoot, no dice. Either that or the electricity in this room was deliberately shut off. I don't really give a crap why it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work, so we can't do shit about it. It's way too dark in here to see anything. We're gonna need some light. So what you're telling me is I need to light... Well, can I just open this desk right now? Yes, it worked! Hey, wait! That's... It's the thing. Either way, I'll light their stupid candle. Doesn't look like this light can turn on. I know that. Maybe we'll light... Yes, I, I, I have literally something that you can use to light that. Candle with a candlestick. This might come in handy. Are you serious right now? I know, if I use these matches to light the candle. What? Nani? Lol. Ah, top tier craftsmanship. Awesome, with the light from the candle, maybe we can take a look around over there. But it gets so hot when I hold it, I want to put it down. Well, why don't you set it on top of the dresser? It's flat there, at least it won't fall over. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Hey, it got pretty bright. You solved the puzzle. Now we can now we can look around a little. Hello? What? I don't want a calculator. Hey Junpei, something's on top of the blanket. It's a curtain for a bathroom? Huh? Hey, what the hell? It just got dark all of a sudden. Maybe the candle got blown out? We should go see. What? Did somebody steal my candle? There's a candlestick covered with melted wax on top of a dresser. Hey, what's this? Top of the candlestick looks kind of weird. You're right. It's all bumpy. It's a key? Okay, what candle burns out? <laughs> Stay hydrated. Notice how thirsty Junpei was getting. Winky face. What candle burns out that fast? Like, what? What's up? You're going back already? Oh, wait. Hmm. What do you think? You're a night protector or something? Creeping me out. Whatever, man. I'm going. Except I need to go back and place that back. Are you going to notice that they're the same? No? Where, the Where did she go? Shower curtains, huh? Let's try closing it. Now I can see the full expanse of the shower curtain. It's all its waterproof glory. There's nothing. Suspicious. 
just a normal old shower curtain. A narrow shower. And I'm standing in it with June. <sighs> this is awkward. And with that, we're gonna... Time to open the curtain. And with that, we're going... Okay. And with that... We're gonna go ahead and save for today. Um... That's a, uh, that's a game. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest, definitely on the side of, I like the gameplay and I like actually having to solve stuff, but so far the characters and the acting is so much better in Danganronpa. <laughs> did this come out first? Cause I feel like it definitely did. Regardless, that's going to go ahead and be, be it for today. Congratulations. You I think everybody learned what saponification is today, so you're now a little bit smarter than you were. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye!